do these tour diaries and you never know where you're going to be next. Today, Willoughby, Ohio. Other than uh, the Twilight Zone episode, I'm not sure I know much about uh, Willoughby. Uh, it's alleged that the episode of Twilight Zone it is about Willoughby, Ohio, but I believe it. You can see the train on top. Anyway, uh, we're here, and it's going to be an interesting day. It's a little small town vibe, and then right in the middle of nowhere, there's a stage, uh, and they're ready for the big rock concert, and I guess a football. to Ohio. Uh, another day, another airport. Exhausted already. But this is what you guys want to see. So I'm going to deliver. K9 screening. This is going to take forever. Jeez, look at all these people. Look at all Oh, vinyl. You think they got any rat records? Got a feeling they don't. They got a lot of guitar picks, though. If you're in the market for guitar picks. Hi, good. Thank you. How are you? Look at this, Funko Pops in the airport, Rob Halford, <laughs> you too, looks like the full set, actually Edge is missing, jump jet, in Houston, Rush, the white stars, of course, and then, Johnny's trying on shirts, yeah, that's a nice one, I I like the Ramones, even though they're next to Slim Shady. Superhuman powers were matched by the highest moral character, a hero to those with little hope, who, like his creators, saw the slightest glimmer of a brighter future and prayed for a beacon to show them the way. They created Clark Kent, Superman's secret identity, the love interest, reporter Lois Lane. Cleveland, Ohio. Who knew the uh, history of Superman began here in Cleveland? You watch a whole documentary about it. Anyway, uh, we just arrived, and now we're going to a hotel, and it's a night off, and it's pretty early, so sit around and do nothing, which is what we do best. sure what this hotel's called. I was told that there's two queens. So they're the two queens. This is some kind of Marriott. Marriott Bonvoy. Anyway, let's see uh, how nice this view is going to be. Whoa! Beautiful. Beautiful Ohio. It's beautiful this time of year. And uh, so is that spectacular view. Nothing says uh, uh, elk cook-off more than that. Anyway, the room is nice, though, and that's a decent-sized TV. Sometimes these TVs are too small. The one on the cruise wasn't that big, I'll tell you that. Anyway, and for you fans of bathrooms, we should take a look at the bathroom. Beautiful. Fantastic. Well, I like it. Hello. Risking our lives here in Cleveland. Very dangerous. This isn't actually Cleveland. This is uh, some other part of Ohio. Not really sure where. For, uh, I think they're looking for Starbucks because they're addicted to coffee. I'm not. But it's good to get around and learn the lay the land. Yeah, these guys, we've been making circles around the block. 
Johnny's wearing a mini skirt. You guys are out of your mind. Johnny, show me how she splashed. I watched her make it. I watched them when they make it. Well, what, what would a splash be to you? I'm just hoping that you She watched us. She's a multi splasher. Yeah. That's a cereal she, splash. She put the whole thing down and picked it up and said, Maybe it's that. It went for more splash. Uh, you know why? Because she didn't read the thing on the cup that says. She was just trying to fill up that. Yeah. That, was her, that was her whole. Yeah, I still can't find the shirt. What? She's a, it's like a pack of raccoons just ate here. Well, they're, they're, it's for the elk. But. What do you think, Johnny? Does the meat here I mean, sugar standard? Milk. I can't go back there and ask her. Can you go back there and ask for sugar? I saw ask I, for four sugar packs. I saw two splashes. That means better. Yeah. See the difference? The la yeah, the last thing was a thick shake. There we go. Lake. We're here at the lake. Established in 1840. 1840. This is Ohio. Beautiful day here in Ohio. We're gonna go have some dinner. Everybody's here, ready for dinner, right, guys? Yep. All right, good. All right, now we're going to uh, the Texas uh, Roadhouse. I think that's what it's called, and uh, everyone's very excited. We're passing up the cracker barrel. Uh, Matt lives with so many crackers in his area that he, he wanted to mix it up and experience something a little different. What are crackers? Uh -oh. Caution, peanut dust, Johnny. Johnny, they got peanut dust. Matt, are you okay with peanut dust? It's all over my floor in my house. Oh, yeah. oh thank uh, you. Oh, thank you. Johnny, you're on deck. Lovely horns over your head. Johnny, you want to tell them what happened to the owner of this facility? He went crazy from tonight as he killed himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not our first. Short and sweet, right to the point, Johnny. We are in uh, Willoughby, Ohio. Fans of the Twilight Zone may remember uh, Last Stop Willoughby, famous episode of the show where uh, they keep saying next stop uh, Willoughby and uh, spoiler alert at the end, uh, the guy uh, jumps off the train and ends up at the Willoughby funeral home. If you know what I'm talking about, that's interesting. If not, you probably think it's just another random, ridiculous story. But anyway, Willoughby, Ohio. Tomorrow, we're going to be going to... Uh, Soundcheck is very early. 9.30 in the morning lobby call. Soundcheck is 10 a.m. to noon because this is an all-day outdoor festival. Stephen plays from 6 p.m. to 7.15. So it's early and we'll have the rest of our nights um, ahead of us. I'm sort of against this whole... Uh, uh, festival. Now, I got to point out that I'm talking, I only speak for me. This doesn't represent the views of Steven or the band or the agencies or anyone else, but this is called the rip, the, uh, let me get that right. It's called the elk plus elk rib burn off. Elk plus elk. I don't even know what that means, but I'm against it. And uh, I guess they're going to be burning the ribs off of elk. Doesn't sound sophisticated, doesn't sound fun. Uh, and it sounds a little gross to me, but um, so I'm not thrilled. I'm not really looking forward to see Burning Elk. Um, the Marshall Tucker Band played today and then tomorrow, Stephen Piercy. I would have liked to do more things when I'm here in Ohio. I had big plans. I wanted to go see Cousin Eddie's RV, which is at a Christmas museum called Castle Noel. I would have liked to have gone back to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, also would have liked to go to uh, uh, the Christmas Story House again. I've done it before, but but there just isn't that much time in this trip. It's really strange. So that's a little bit of what's going on here in Willoughby, Ohio. This Marriott is nice, nicer than the usual uh, hotels that we've been seeing. And uh, we had a nice dinner, Matt Thorne, and myself and Johnny Monaco. We went to the Texas Roadhouse and uh, we had a nice, we dined with the locals. That's 
a little bit of what's going on. I also tell you that tonight, Stevie Rochelle and Tuff were playing, and we missed it. It just wasn't enough time to get there. Uh, but they were playing a uh, Janie Lane tribute and Bobby Brown, uh, Janie's uh, ex-wife, not the one from New Edition. And uh, his children were going to be there performing and Billy Morris putting this whole thing on. So strange that you go to all the way to Ohio and then people you know were there, but we just didn't have the time. So I feel like maybe um, having uh, something edible and getting some sleep. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. But anyway, if you're still watching, stay tuned because tomorrow we're going to watch some animals be slaughtered and ribs and burn offs and other uh, uh, bullshit. This is an interesting uh, gig. So this is our dressing room, which I don't know what it normally is, but uh, today it's a dressing room and this is the ground transportation. They were very nice, but so we all stay here. And then the stage is over here. And uh, it's like a small town kind of feel. It's not what I expected. Uh, I expected like, you know, a lot of green and being in a big field, but we're literally, we're right in the middle of the neighborhood. Scott Coogan, rise and shine early. So, okay, this is the backstage. Now I'm starting to put it together. This is like a neighborhood uh, block party. And then now we're at the front of the stage. And I'm gonna make a couple quick Changes. But anyway, you can see the festival is you know, very nice. You see the nice people walking through Willoughby. Next stop, Willoughby. This is Willoughby, Ohio. Willoughby, Ohio. Seems like a nice, quiet place. It's established in 1835. Okay, so here's the stage. And again, it's very early. It's about 10 in the morning right now. So all of this hasn't been set up yet. But you get a little tour of Willoughby, Ohio as we walk around. Uh, it's like a nice place. Bring the family. And uh, here's the uh, peanut butter uh, and bourbon berry. I guess that's booze maybe, I don't know. Here's the barber shop. You might get a little uh, hair cut in. Some of this stuff looks good. Uh, this is Cowboys Barbecue and Rib. And uh, let's see, look at all this barbecue sauce. And anyway, oh, here, here's the trophy. These guys must have won all the awards. Uh, sweep the leg and you win a trophy. Look at that. These guys aren't going around. And uh, I, 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 I'm noticing a theme of uh, barbecue. A lot of barbecue. And uh, kind of nicely. Look at all this sauce. I don't know about you, but I like a good sauce. Oh, look at all this. Great barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue. I'm gonna have to come back and check it out. Yes, sir. Looks great. Yeah, a lot of barbecue. And this is uh, the elk plus elk uh, rib burn off. Not really sure uh, about that part, but look at all this stuff. Nice. Nice little neighborhood. I don't know how many people will it be uh, fits, but I'm sure every one of them will be here tonight. Let's keep looking around. Hmm. A lot of big uh, rat fans. They, they love their rat. They love riblets. And they love uh, uh, elk. Here you can rescue some animals. Uh, apparently not the elk, but other ones. Anyway, this is nothing at all what I expected. A lot of barbecue. 
All right, Willoughby, Ohio. Summer uh, camp registration is open, if anyone was wondering. I know you folks like to get a little history. So we're gonna get some history right now uh, uh, from Willoughby, Ohio. Who says this show can't be educational? Uh, this right here is in honor of the men and women who serve and have served the United States military forces. And uh, this is West Point Garden. That's named for Wes Sheffield. And uh, I'm not exactly sure who he was. These roses are for the enjoyment of everyone. Please do not cut. We will not uh, do that. And here is uh, in memory of uh, the soldiers from Willoughby that served the country in the War of the Rebellion. 1951 to 1965, I think. I could be wrong. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Anyway, it's very beautiful. And I guess this is like a town hall or something. This looks like the Gilmore Girls uh, 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 would live here or, or something. And there you can see, oh, there's a polka band. But anyway, it's very nice. And you can see they have this nice little square. And uh, yeah, you're in the heart of it. There's a nice old church right there. You're right in the heart of things here in uh, Willoughby. The show is bringing you. There's Tony Hawk. Yeah, uh, maybe not. Uh, anyway, we're showing you everything. This is what you tuned in for. You wanted to see something exciting. And, uh, and you're seeing behind the scenes of the elk plus elk rib burn off in Willoughby, Ohio. So there's the stage. And then up there behind the porta potties is the festival. And then right here in this little unassuming uh, scene uh, store, whatever that is, is the uh, dressing room. Dressing room, some nice uh, cookies and things, and a little spread. Very unassuming, you would expect it. Money is uh, doing people's yeah, mail. Yeah, this woman asked yeah, you know what they call that? if she would, if he would take her mail over to the mailbox. All right, walking over to the stage, you can hear the heavy metal music. Uh, blasting There's some of our friends who uh, watch the channel. We've seen them on here before. They were in the uh, uh, Monsters on the Mountain. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. This is the fucking Piercy, man. We're yeah. here to see Woo. fucking Woo. Piercy. Woo. Yeah. Represent yeah. Thank you. Everybody's having a good time. Good, good to see man. you. Thank you. Yeah. And then, of course, the Stephen Merch uh, table. And we're going to go up and put some uh, set lists out. Bottles of water and some towels. If I ever lose my job with Steven, you guys know he likes two black towels and two bottles of water cracked, which go in between right here. Uh, so if someone has to take my job, uh, this is how you do it. All right, trainer kit. Just like that if you're storing at home. All right, just like that. Tight set list right there. Yeah. Hey, hey. So he came from Montreal. I drove around Lake Erie through Niagara and Buffalo. Frank or Frank, as you called me. We're so happy to be show. here. I'll probably pronounce it wrong again, so don't hold it against And me. I came here to waste a little bit of time, I guess. Nice, all right. <laughs> Wasting right. time kind of rules. Yeah, Which is, these guys agree like too. These guys that drove four and a half hours, we only drove an hour. Hey, listen, oh, you're but, amazing. Yeah, still, it was, no, but, yeah. but we did That's not effort. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well worth the trip. Well, let's take some I would drive 10 fucking hours to see Piercy, man. I agree. I'm with you. I, I, I don't know if I do. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, let's take yeah. some pictures. Let's do it. Oh, because so they're like repeating. No, like, so the, whatever the company just stopped selling those. Oh, like the right. paint pens. Yeah. So, like, the, Dude, come on.
What year is that stub from? That's 97. 97, wow. Yeah, that worked. Well, there you go, nice. All right. Another 1987 ticket stub. What was the venue? Coliseum. Wow. All right. Yeah, can you? He's Joel Ellis from Cats and Boots. Hey, Bones. Cats and Boots, old school. Do you live in Ohio, Joel? Yes, I live in Ohio. See, you come here, you can find anybody. You never know. And uh, Herman Please. Munster. Is Cats and Boots still around? Um, Joel Ellis is playing Cats and Boots music. That's all that matters, right? Yep, I'll be out. I'll be out with with Steven's rap. That'd be perfect. We'll be out doing shows. Well, thank you, Joel. Nice meeting you. You too, man. To JoelEllisMusic.com. JoelEllisMusic.com. I, uh, I got the Heavy Bones reissue coming out, remastered, and then I've got uh, three more releases, all unreleased Heavy Bones music. Digitized, remastered. It's the only recording of all original members playing live. Nice. Well, and we're it kicks go. fucking ass. I gotta tell you, man. JoelEllisMusic.com. Yep. Gary and I are talking again. So you never know. There might. Well, we gotta have you on the show. Okay. Johnny was on a quest for ribs. Uh oh. I stopped to talk to my adoring public, and Johnny, he made a break for it. He, they're supposed to be close, but Johnny says that he has special privileges and that he's going to track down ribs. I don't think he's going to. He's trying to see him in his natural habitat. A little Chinese girl attempting ribs. What is it? How is it going, Johnny? This is the guy that went out with Steven earlier. Oh, maybe he would give you something. Remember, he said he was going to feed us. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's track him down. Just say, hey, brother. There he is. Although it doesn't look like there's anything left. Ready. Hey. That was the guy, right? Fucker. <laughs> look at this. We have a celebrity here, and uh, he won Fat Freddy's. You're not Fat Freddy, are you? I, I'm the owner. I'm Fat Freddy. You know, I owner You're Fat Freddy's. Fat Freddy's You're not really fat enough, no. Freddy. I named it after a guy I used to work with. And uh, good guy. You could be like beer guy, Freddie. Yeah, no, that absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we took best ribs, Willoughby, Ohio. Uh, we, you know, we appreciate the best sport. ribs right here, Fat Freddy. Me and Jason didn't get one rib, and, and we didn't even have any but ribs. You will. But we're gonna try it. John, he's nice enough to help make sure Johnny can try a rib. All right, here we are. Let's, All right, let's get you guys. Let's some try. Ribs. Come on, Johnny. Let's follow. Right, let me get you. Going. How many you want? Six packs. Just whatever's for us too. Yes. All right, fine. night is finally over. It took longer than I expected. We're the last ones out. Me, Johnny, and Eric, we closed Fuck out the place. Oh, oh my God. Still excited fans. This city right here, oh, you guys. So it was a good, uh, good, good night. We're going to get at it. Me and my cooks are here in the hotel lobby for the after party. Uh, it wasn't what I expected, this trip uh, to Willoughby. Uh, Ohio. Not at all what I expected. The elk plus elk rib uh, burn off 
really was just a name. They did serve ribs, but I didn't see any dead uh, elk or anything else or really crazy hunters. It was like a rock concert and a block party. Uh, so I had a nice time. It was a good trip and a lot of nice people. I can't believe how many people watch uh, this show. It was great. And uh, a lot of people uh, at the meet and greet with Stephen were telling me how much they enjoy it. So if I met you, uh, thank you. It was very nice to meet you and I hope that you're in this video a little bit. And uh, it was early. Now that uh, the show ended, it's only like nine o'clock at night. I was sitting here in the hotel lobby at 8.30 a.m. We have a lobby call and then we're going to go back to uh, the airport and then we have a quick stop in Chicago which as you know Johnny and I it's a terrible airport uh, and then from there we're going to go to uh, Illinois I mean uh, to Vegas. Johnny's entertaining the gentleman at the front desk. He loves to entertain uh, and I can't even tell you the things that he's been saying. Uh, anyway, Willoughby, Ohio. It was fun and uh, I thought I have to lower the tripod for Johnny. Does your look a little big? <laughs> Shut up. Does your look a little big for me? A little bit. You look, you look like a teacup right at this. <laughs> you look like work from work in a giant egg. Mm -hmm. Can it make a full circle? Okay. You gotta get enough traction. Look at that. Exciting. This is like a 5,000. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Mott. The bed was very nice. Uh, uh, was your bed nice, Johnny? I mean, I'm on the fence, but I mean, it's nicer than the fucking $3,000 bed I have. The good thing about it is we got two queens, not us, the beds. But, uh, and you could, so if you didn't like one, you could switch the other. Do you try both beds? I was thinking of trying the other one tonight. So mix it up a little bit, live live wild. And then if, if you don't like those beds, you can always, yeah, Eric has another bed, or uh, Scott Coogan. It's the uh, middle of the night. And uh, we needed a, a, I asked Johnny, maybe you'd like a cup of coffee. And, and he said he doesn't drink coffee at this time. And I said, well, what about Sanka? Uh, Sanka or decaf. And then he said, it's too cold for us to be walking out here. And I know Johnny's just wearing a dr his dress, but, uh, but I think it's a lovely night for a walk. They told us it's dangerous out here. I thought that meant urban, but she said people speed up this hill and that that might be dangerous. I mean, maybe there's bears or something. But anyway, Johnny and I are going to sheets. Uh, full of sheets. A lot of the people around here look like they might wear sheets when they go to the Night Ranger concert. <laughs> or Lynch Mob. Applebee's? That's the one that Coogan said was good. Right? Yeah, he didn't like it. If you've never been to a sheets, look at all the stuff you have here. Look at this. This is a soft serve machine of some sort. I have no idea how that works. And here's 9,000 drinks. And then uh, these flavors, I can't have them. It looks great. And then that's a lottery machine. Johnny, I'm showing the people sheets. And then over here, they make you food. You can order food. It's a gas station. It's a gas station. People love it. Johnny, people from this part of the world, they love sheets. Look, look at this. This is a strawberry shortcake machine, Johnny, right here. You, 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 see that? Limited time only. What do you think? Sheets. Everybody loves sheets. Johnny, hot nuts. <laughs> candy nuts, actually. You love, Johnny, you love candy nuts. And get some oots to go with your newts. Sheets. Don't use that door, it's dangerous. Cops don't. So we were in sheets and I owe Johnny some ice cream. And so we, we, we filled out this uh, computer thing and we ordered two strawberry shakes. And we were gonna get one share with two straws, but we figured why not go all out tonight. This is a, they said you gotta go by your number. Our number is 667, which is the neighbor of the beast. And uh, anyway, we're gonna have some shakes. They're in, sh in, in sheets. I don't think that happens if we order shakes. There's two people doing all the cooking. They're making tortillas, tostadas, yeah. chicken fingers. And I don't think they're happy. Johnny thinks that everyone here is much younger than us. But it's going to be about a month. Anyway, why two sheets? Waiting on, uh, waiting on our sheets. 
Looks like it could be a month. They just said 617. Our number, Johnny, is 667. Six, We're about 50 numbers away. This is a mess. The shape is even hurt. This is still be the same as Johnny. We're in trouble. This is the regular, Johnny. We don't want to order the large. All right, well, this looks healthy. All right. Thank you. No, nothing. Oh, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. We're sorry that we ordered uh, this in the middle of the night. No, you're okay. I know it's going to be like this tonight. Short staff there. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Gosh, I have a sweatshirt. It's very cold out right now. Here in uh, Sheets, Ohio. <laughs> and uh, Johnny, let's, let's run back as fast as we can. There's a little bit of like an icy water taste, like not. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's all ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I bet if I poured some of that Fanta in here, it would be good. Mm -hmm. We're up! We're! We're! You gotta get it from your throat. Johnny, the bears are sleeping. We're up to the witch! We're up to the witch! He's wearing his good mini skirt out. Oh, man. This woman told me and Johnny to be careful walking around out here. Come home! But she said, we said, is it a bad neighbor? She said, no, the cars move very fast. This is the first car we've seen in three days of Johnny's testing it. Nope, maybe she was right. Here we are at the courtyard by Marriott. This is our last night here, not ever, but in Sheetsville, Ohio. What happened? Got some sheets on your shoe? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we're in Cleveland, at the Cleveland airport, and uh, we are gonna be flying to Chicago. It's an hour flight. We're only there for a little while. Chicago is one of the worst airports. Every time we get there, Midway or whatever, it's terrible. Never anything else, but it's never any good. But anyway, so we're gonna head there and then back to Las Vegas. So the trip comes to an end, and it wasn't uh, it wasn't so bad. So we'll do it again very soon when we go to uh, Oklahoma. Stephen uh, Adler. You see. Chicago. We've had nothing but bad experiences in Chicago airports. We've made sure though that nobody will be able to sit next to us because this is a two-seater. Well, the foot's okay. It's better than an actual person. So uh, this is a very short flight from Cleveland to uh, Midway and then back to Vegas. Very exciting. Here we go. Strange, Johnny and I are here in the airport and they said there's going to be a, a big event in the Christian Chapel. And uh, Johnny, they said everybody's welcome. Except the Jews in the gate. So are we going to go? <laughs> Only one of us can go. <laughs> I'm in the bloodline of their, the guy they worship. And eventually... I know how it ends. Spears. <laughs> I know how it ends. I'm going to show you guys some Harry Carey memorabilia. Some of this stuff doesn't make sense. I mean, Frankenstein I like, but what does Lou Gehrig have to do with this? Maybe somebody watching, or Ted Williams. Is this Ted Williams' flight suit? Alfonso Soriano, he was a great Yankee. Cub to. Look at all this stuff. From uh, Harry Carey's personal collection. A great day for baseball. Everyone except half of us.
Do you think that when he says everyone's welcome, it's like wink, wink? <laughs> you know who not to show up. He probably put down the script and he's like, I can't say this. <laughs> My brother's gay. <laughs>